Hey, this is Greg. Welcome back. Let me show you the irrigation system that I installed in my tent. I didn't have the chance to show it to you last time when I presented the, the grow tent setup. So we're gonna go in the tent. All right, those are the nozzles that I'm using. Most, most of uh, the nozzles are like this. I also have some other ones like this. And I have other ones like uh, da, 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 da. just dripping ones uh, like this. Okay. Now, those uh, manifolds, uh, they can be open or closed like each of the tubing each of the tubes can be open or closed so you know i set them up the way i want um, because some of the tubing has been installed but trays have been removed so you know it's not there like on the top shelf i, I don't water anything here at the moment maybe i need to install it i don't know but uh, mostly what i use are those orange one they um they really spray a, a nice mist so I have some at the bottom over there, here. And uh, so my two uh, main shelves here, let me step back. So this shelf, this shelf are using those nozzles. Um, I have a couple of them here and there for my Heliophora. Um, and the rest is, the rest is kind of, kind of uh, funky, a little bit all over the place. So. I can trigger this uh, automatic uh, automatically, like every you know, every day at uh, 8 a.m. in the morning or something like that. But right now it's not set up to be automatic, so I'm just running a script on my Raspberry Pi. And uh, yeah, that's the part that's a little bit complicated, I guess, because I made the script myself. But basically, it's going to turn on the switch, right? So when I run that. You can hear it. So these ones are actually much uh, stronger, as you can see, but I reduce them just so they just drip a little bit. But yeah, nice, nice rain. All over the place there is water on the floor of the tent, which for now I don't really mind because it dries after. And the drip system, these ones are just, you know, dripping like this to fill up the tray. This is great for the uh, fly traps. Man, this picture, so beautiful. Nice uh, Veitchi Truth Mediensis here as well. And this is Veitchi Eduardiana. Now, after the pump stops, so the pump is in the rain barrel, by the way, outside. So once the pump stops, it keeps dripping a little bit because there's still water in the pipes. So the pressure is not there anymore, but the, uh, uh, the water is still dripping a little bit. And that could be a concern sometimes because it fills up trays very easily, but the, it doesn't really water the plants properly, I found. What else? Um, yes, I did uh, install, I, I did puncture the pipe outside in the barrel so that um, it doesn't create a siphon effect where all the rain, all the water from the barrel uh, goes down here in the basement because the barrel is higher. So this is the rain barrel and I just pour, um, pour water in here. I collect the water in some containers. I pour it here because it's not connected to the uh, uh, downspout, I think that's called and I filter it with a net so it's clean and there is a pump inside it and there is a pipe here that goes all the way in my basement and in the tent actually let me open so I can show you I'm not sure how much of that you're gonna be able to see so you see here the red stuff so that's actually a dripping system okay and air can flow can flow through it right here 
So when I run the system, uh, I have a little bit of loss here because the water is gonna drip, but it drips just back into the barrel. So not a problem. Okay, right there. And then when the pump stops, air goes into, into this hole, preventing a siphon effect. Okay, and I was wondering if I should put a second one just, this, just in case this one gets stuck as a safety but I would reduce the pressure if I do that. So I'm not decided on that yet. And the pump is all the way at the bottom here. You can see that's a, that's a pump. All right. And that's it. I hope this is useful. Thanks for watching. Bye.